All right. Hi, Phoebe. How's it going? Um, I'm glad to hear that. Greetings. It is time for the re-ride. Hello. Only one player? Great. I don't like it when it gets crowded in here. Yeah, is this your first it, time in the okay. re-ride? The is team not. will be pleased. They are quite tired of having to spell everything out to all those newbies. In case you forgot, here are your buzzers. Well. You never know, there might be a chance we might run them along. Before you go, please be aware that this is a non-profit fan project in no way associated with Jackbox Games. Please wait until the elevator has come to a full stop before you disembark. show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of The Ray Ride is sponsored by Magpie's Mirrored Sunglasses. Forget the sun, now you can be blinded by your own dazzling reflection. And here's your host, the man who brought sexy back, Conan Blankenberg. What up, what up? Welcome to the show, Real G. Conan Blankenberg is in the hizzy. If you're into glitz and glamour and gaudy displays of exorbitant wealth, you're going to find this floor right up your alley. Oh, and don't mind the burly men with the brass knuckles. I've been told you're real bad, so I thought we'd put you in good company. They might look like they're eyeing your bling, but trust me, they just want to play. Not all that glitters okay. is gold, but they all belong here in the shiny things floor. Let's go. Show me the money, hit your... Now playing... A girl's best marketed friend. Uh-huh. Okay, let's take a look at the question then. Considering it's not a form of gem cut, which of these is something Rihanna can do to shine bright, but not like a diamond? Stage a brilliant dance performance, fill up a dome with every show, pour her heart into every song, or become the princess of R&B? Dome, maybe? Brilliant Heart and Princess are famous types of gem cut. Dome is not. All right. You know, I really prefer dome shows to open air. You don't have to care about the weather. Even if it rains, you don't have to bring an umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 Ella, Ella, Ella. Seriously? All right, everybody's with Values like these is what the word decent was invented for. Not the worst, not the best. Here's your category. The Darkest Hole. Let us dive right in. If I told you to stick it where the sun don't shine, then where could you correctly stick it? The far side of the moon, the bottom of the Persian Gulf, the Chao Meng Fu crater on Mercury, or the natural trap cave in Wyoming? I'm gonna go with the far side of the moon. What? Do you think the moon disappears into some alternate dimension every time there's a new moon on Earth? Oh. Roughly 40% of the Chao Meng Fu crater on Mercury's south pole lies in permanent darkness and never receives any sunlight. Of course, what I actually mean by that is that ah. you should stick it right in the middle of the full moon. And no, not the one in the sky. I've got a question. It's a beautiful day for some roadkill. All right. We got you. Remember to buzz in when the item flies by that correctly connects the current pair. And keep an eye out for that bonus if you're interested in extra cash. Pedal to the metal, we're going. Wait for the other one to drop, and flip-flop. 
Abby a shoe. Web browser and Baldi equals blank dome. Chrome. Shoe chrome. Shelf is blank and manicures go here. Nails. What did you do that? I didn't deserve that. Pie ingredient and Adam's blank. Apple. To mimic and neuron involved in empathy. Oh, it's mirror. Where a carpet lies. Dance blank. Or blank Ferguson and drop by birds. Ah, Bird. So far, so good, and now for the bonus. What do all of the correct answers have in common? Oh, God. Are they all species of magpie? Things made of precious metals. No. Uh-oh, somebody's lost their shine. Things They're all polish. things you polish. Unfortunately, well, no amount of polish can make this shambles ever go away, so let's quickly move on before it starts smelling. Yeah. And there's your current score. Hope you're happy with it. Let's move on. Get okay. Here's what we have to offer. What a spectacle. This question is for four seven one nine dollar sign. So show me your best side. Instead of a glass lens, suppose you shined light at the origin of the name lens. What could you get? A warmly lit bowl of bean soup, a moodly lit museum exhibit, a backlit hourglass, or a brightly lit Roman Colosseum. That's what I'm talking about when I say that you're dumb and wrong. <laughs> Shall wow. we take a look at the money shot? <laughs> the word lens comes from the Latin word for lentil. I once let my friend use my contact lenses via the mail for her camping trip in Britain, but she lost them in her soup. So the lent lenses I'd sent went absent among the lentils in her tent in Kent. Okay, we need nothing to cry over, nothing to phone home about. Here's your category. Glass glass glass. Glass. Come on. Why write this way, please? Which of the following scientists would most likely write a gloss in their paper? A linguist, an ornithologist, a mechanical engineer, or a gynecologist? Gloss. I'm gonna guess it's a mechanical engineer. Yeah, not like this. Oh. Smart people choose this. In linguistics, a gloss is a note, annotation, or translation, usually of an old foreigner niche expression. But don't criticize a linguist on their gloss, or they'll give you lip. If buzzer select value, it's easy as... Hey, I know I told you to pick a value, but not like this. Ugh. Oh well, too late now. Here's your category. I reflect on it so you don't have to. As much as I hate the idea of wasting this perfectly good question for a measly $893, that's the value you picked, so we're rolling with it. And here we go. Which of these hypothetical shiny retro Super Mario merch items could most likely be retro reflective? A metal goblet with Princess Peach's emblem on it, a coin-shaped safety sticker for your bicycle, a gold-plated statue of a super mushroom, or a plaque overviewing the history of the franchise? I'm gonna guess it's this one. Gonna have to dock you for this one. Oh. A retro reflector is a surface that sends light back almost exactly the way it came. It's used in traffic signs and reflective safety stickers on bikes and car bumpers. A safety sticker, however, will not protect you from direct strikes from blue spiky and explosive turtle shells. Smash the buzzer when you see the good stuff fly. Holy mother of God, okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Don't panic. <laughs> Believe it. Oh, this is a dis or dat. Oh that. my god. The category for this dis or dat question is from shiny hair to shiny skin. 
Okay, I'm gonna list off seven brand names, and I want you to tell me if it refers to hair styling wax or hair removal wax. Style or removal? Get one right, and you'll yes, win some we money. Did. But get one wrong, or don't get to it in time, and you'll lose money. And keep an eye on the wire. It fills up in 30 seconds, and that's your time. All good? Let's go. Feet. Bear. Yeah, that's removal. Old Spice. Selling. Gatsby. Gatsby selling. Depo Bella. Oh, it's you old old back there. Licks. That's selling. No most stat. Removal. Oh, you missed the perfect score by just a hair. You know what? Quick look at your I can score with that. in case you need more numbers in your life. Got enough? Yeah, me too. It's all up to you. Oh, I'll put it this way. You could have done a lot worse than that. Here's your category. Sort of a big deal. Okay, value for this question is 5711, and here it is. Say you're a knight trying to impress a beautiful damsel by talking about your sword. Which is the most appropriate term to replace just the tip? Just the foible, just the forte, just the hilt, or just the tang? I'm gonna go with forte. I spy with my little eye something beginning with no. Oh. The foible is the third of the blade that's closest to the tip. Oh. Even if it is just the foible, you really shouldn't joust before you can find a sheath. <laughs> Value time! Oh cool, and now it's time for a little question I like to call... Oh my god. That metallic sheen. You know how Charlie Sheen seems to always play characters that also have the first name Charlie? Which of these Charlies did Charlie Sheen not give his signature Charlie Sheen with his performance? Charlie Harper from Two and a Half Men, Charlie Wheeler from Friends, Charlie Crawford from Spin City, or Dr. Charlie Goodson from Anger Management? I'm gonna go with Charlie Wheeler. Winning! Charlie Wheeler is a woman played by Aisha Tyler. Here are some other Charlies I'm reasonably sure that Charlie Sheen couldn't pull off. Charlie Brown, Charlie Bucket, and Charlie the Unicorn. At least not when he's sober. Okay, buzz in when you see it. And the next question we're dealing with is called... Fairy Fairy Real Tales. I've got $3,498 bills if you've got a right answer. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the realest of them all? Snow White, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Mulan, or Pocahontas? I believe that'd be Pocahontas. Look at you, princess. Pocahontas was a real person, just as real as the hundreds of billions of dollars Disney made off of her story and all the other ones they ripped out from the public domain and turned into mediocre schlock before proceeding to utterly lock down said public domain with their copyright lobbying bullshit so that no one can climb the ladder they squarely pulled up behind them. Who wants a Mickey Mouse cup? Pick a valley that looks good to you and then we can keep going. Will the finish to this game ready, be shiny Conan? or mad? Yes, I think well, you're done ready. The clue. Not all that glitters is AU. In more ways than one, this jack attack is pretty metal. Good luck. Okay, helmets. It's an helmet thing. I think it's just Z. F E for iron. There we go. Silver's A U. To you, maybe. It was W. Okay. I 
This is tough. H E is silver. Let's PB. H T is Mercury. Kind of brutal, but we got through it. That's all she wrote, and here's where you stand. Ooh, impressive. Too bad no one's here to congratulate ya. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm... Yeah, this, this probably would be a good one for you then, Phoebe. I... I just kind of average in science, so... Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I know what we gotta do anyway. Okay. Uh, this is Tickets Please uh, Gaming. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and spread that word. We'll see you next time.